What happens when four strangers are forced to live together in a new city? They stop being nice. Start getting real. On this episode of The Real World. Hello, I'm Detective Murphy. We found Joey's body last night. I want to know what's going on and I want to know now. Before the show, I was going to school. I didn't have many friends. I spent most of my time in my room by myself. I'm from a small town called Plattsburgh, New York, so I'm used to there not being a lot of people around. I've always had a hard time dealing with social situations and fitting in with people my own age. Before the show, I was totally focused on my schoolwork, and still am. I'm really into science and math. They're my favorites. I'm from Doylestown, Pennsylvania, and there's not really much else to do there except, well, study and do homework. Before the show, I focused on my voice acting career. I spent every day and every night practicing for auditions. Since I'm from Richfield, PA, and it's a really small town, I spent a lot of time going up to New York City and taking every audition I could find. I take every rejection from an audition very personally. Before the show, I was just, you know, partying. I'm from Sunbury, Pennsylvania. I've been trying to get my acting career off the ground, so I would go to New York City for auditions. I got lucky with one that went well. I was so hungover for it. I don't know how I got it, but it's all good. All right, Valerie, let's hear it. Let's hear your story. Hey. Hello. You're a lightweight anyway, whatever. Oh, hi, Val. Hi, Joey. How are you today? Good, how are you? Oh, I'm great. Um, can I see your book for a second? I mean, I kind of have a final really soon, but I guess you can see it. Oh, maybe I can help you out. What's it on? Uh, public relations. Oh. Hey, you want to have a drink? No, no, Joey, I don't drink. Why not? The party was last night, okay? Just go, go, go to bed. Val, oh, you're such a wimp. I just wish you would drink for once. Not a wimp. I just don't believe in drinking. Just give me my book back so I can finish studying for my test. Go to sleep. Okay. Val, you have a very strong motive for murdering Joey. Do you have anything you'd like to say? Look, Detective Murphy, I know this looks really bad, but just think of Heidi's motive. Oh, damn, my head still hurts from last night. Oh, I think I'm going to be sick. Well, good luck. You're going to need it. Yeah, we'll see. Alright, I got the part! I can't believe they actually cast me! Oh, my head. I think I'm still drunk from the party we had at the house last night. <laughs> I can't believe this. I practice weeks for this audition. I eat, sleep, drink voice acting, and all you do is drink beer! Better luck next time, I guess. <laughs> Heidi, the situation doesn't look too good for you. Do you want to try and defend yourself? I may have had a good motive, but nobody had as good a motive as Mike. Bro, come out and drink with me. It's Thirsty Thursday. Every night, all you do is study, 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 shut study, up, study, Joy, study. Shut up, Joy, shut up. I have a test tomorrow that was 57.3% of my grade. Can you just leave me alone for a little bit and let me study in peace? No way, man. Thirsty Thursday's a tradition. You have to at least come drink for a little bit. Come on. No. No time for drinking. What don't you understand? Listen. Just stay here. I'm going to the library to study. Don't break anything while I'm gone. Fine, man. Whatever. Go study your life away. Whoa. The graphing calculator. These things have such sick games on them. I used to play them in class all the time. Whoa. Huh, huh, huh. Maddie. Oh. Oh. He'll never know. <laughs> oh, back so soon, Mike? Yeah, I forgot my calculator. 
Oh, why is my calculator all sticky? Oh, it smells like cheap beer too. I hate beer. Joey, gonna kill him! Joey? Yeah, Mike. Why exactly is my calculator all sticky and broken? I don't know. I've been sitting here the whole time watching Beverly Hills 90210. All right, whatever, dude. God, I know you did this. I didn't do anything. Hey, Mike, how's it going? I'm good, Detective Murphy. It's getting pretty intense, long day, huh? Yeah, it has been. You're probably pretty hungry. I got these delicious brownies right here. All you gotta do is confess to what you did. Man, so I be do love a good brownie, but... Wait, wait, wait. Detective Murphy, I already told you a thousand times. I was studying last night. I didn't have anything to do with Joey's death. Oh, that's a nice cold ice water. I know it gets pretty hot with this lamp on you, huh? Huh? Tell me what you did! Detective Murphy, I was studying last night. Who knows what Joey could have done in his drunken stupor. Excuse me, I have to take this. Hello, Detective mm. Murphy here. Okay, the fingerprints came back positive. Okay, I'll bring it onto the station immediately. Heidi, you're under arrest for the murder of Joey. I'm gonna need you to come with me. Put your hands behind the back. We know that you killed Joey because you didn't get the audition. We know that you murdered him using the cartoon voices the whole time. I'm gonna need you to come with me right now. I don't know what you're talking about. Honestly, let's go. I didn't do Hands anything. Hands behind your back. Oh, come on. Yeah. <laughs> No drunk steals my audition. On the next episode of The Real World... I'm really gonna miss Joey. Sure is a lot quieter in here. Poor hungover guy. Probably didn't even know what he was doing during that audition. Yeah, I miss him too. I wonder what he wants to be doing right now. He'd probably want us to throw a rager. <laughs> Let's party. I got my drink and my two step, my drink and my two step, got my drink and my two step, my drink and my two step.